everybody. So in this video, we're going to be talking about absolute value equations. So we just have three basic examples and they want us to solve the following equations. So one thing that we have to do when we have absolute value signs is that you must isolate this absolute value expression. So if you look at this example, we have three minus six times this absolute value. Here, you can't do anything until you move the three and divide by the negative six, all right? Same thing over here. We gotta move the four and divide by the negative five first. You cannot do anything to this problem until the absolute value bars are by themselves. So since this is the case, what you're gonna do is take this expression and set it equal to this 12. So I have four X minus three equals 12. And then you're also going to have to say four X minus three equals negative 12. So remember, we have to set it to the positive and the negative because you can have a positive or negative number in the absolute value expression and you would still get the same number. So think about this, the absolute value of five is five but the absolute value of negative five is also five because absolute value is the distance from zero. So this is how we account for both solutions. Here, I'm going to add three to both sides. So I'm gonna get four X equals 15. And when I add three here, I'm gonna get four X equals negative nine. And now I'll divide each side by four so this is gonna give me x equals 15 over four, and here x is negative nine over four. So these are the values of x here that would satisfy this inequality. All right, let's move to this one right over here. So here with this one, we're going to have to isolate the absolute value expression. So we're going to need to move this three to the other side. This gives me negative six times the absolute value of four X plus four equals negative 42. Now, this negative six is being multiplied by this expression. So to move it, we're going to need to divide. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to divide both sides by negative six. So now I have the absolute value of four X plus four equals seven. Now that the absolute value is isolated, I'm going to say four X plus four equals seven and four X plus four equals negative seven. So I can do that here. I can say four X plus four equals seven and four X plus four equals negative seven. So here, when I subtract four, I get four X equals three, four X equals negative 11. And then I will divide both sides by four. So here X is going to be three over four and here X is going to be negative 11 over four. So these will be the two solutions that satisfy this equation. Coming over here, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So I will subtract four. This gives us negative five times the absolute value of two X plus one equals negative 10. And now I'll divide each side by negative five. And now I'm left with the absolute value of two X plus one equals two. So just like I did here, I'll take the expression two X plus one, set it equal to two and negative two. So I have two X plus one equals two and two X plus one equals negative two. So this is gonna give me two X equals one and two X equals negative three. So X here is going to be one half and X is going to be negative three halves.
So those are just a few examples on how to solve a multi-step absolute value equation. I hope that this video helped. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.